Welcome to my channel, Imperfectly Neek, and another edition of Boss Lady Chronicles. Today we will be creating this beautiful tumbler you see here. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Welcome if you are new, and welcome back if you're returning. Let's get into this video. video you will see the process of me making that sunflower tumbler that I featured in the previous shot. Um, we will be focusing on this yellow tumbler here that you see me pouring epoxy on. Um, the other two tumblers you will see the other video that I completed for those two tumblers and I will include that link in the description and a suggestion above. So as I said we are focusing on this yellow tumbler here. Please excuse the mess in my background. I am working on getting my craft room together so just ignore all that and focus on this yellow tumbler so here you will see me adding epoxy to the tumbler throughout the entire tumbler and on the back um, I am very meticulous about my epoxy applying method um, so you will see me go up and down of this thing constantly um, just because I want to make sure that the epoxy is completely coated on this tumbler so that is completely covered um, that way when we are applying the glitter it is going to be great coverage make sure you are also applying epoxy to the bottom of the tumbler um, therefore you can glitter that as well so I am just going to continue to rub this epoxy up and down this tumbler until I feel that it is perfect again there is no trick rhyme or reason at least for me when it comes to how I want this to look I just want to make sure there is a thin coat of epoxy on this tumbler and that it is fully covered um, throughout the entire tumbler and on the bottom so I will just continue to rub this up and down and I will probably fast forward this to this part until I am ready to glitter so you guys don't have to hear me talk through this whole process and for those of you who are not aware I like to use art resin I will include their link in the description box as well below so you guys can check them out I absolutely love them I feel like their bubbles are at a minimal if not non-existent and so I plan on doing a video on them and just mixing epoxy in totality anyway so let's go ahead and fast forward through this portion um, and then I will be back when it is time to glitter this tumbler. Okay, so now we are back and I am ready to glitter this tumbler. I am now satisfied with the distribution of my epoxy. The glitter that I will be using is Sunshine by Hot Glam Glitter. I got this glitter from Etsy. I will include the link to this glitter in the description box. When applying glitter, you want to make sure that you have a piece of paper or parchment paper, something below the tumbler so that it can catch the glitter as you're applying it. Um, so here you're just going to see me using the um, shaker distribution that is already attached to the bottle and just going ahead and sprinkling it onto this tumbler. Um, now again, I don't have any particular rhyme or reason. I just kind of keep shaking and keep shaking until I am in love with the product. Now, I did spray paint this tumbler first. I forgot to mention this with Rust-Oleum Golden Sunset is the name of the spray paint. Um, so I did spray paint that first, uh, but you can tell that it is a little darker than the glitter that I am using um, so I'm just gonna keep moving forward with the way it is because some of this will be covered up with the final design so I'm not gonna freak out too much I decided to take off the lid of the glitter bottle so that the glitter could come out faster as I was covering this tumbler um, you also saw as I funneled the falling glitter back into the glitter bottle and started the pouring process all over again I'm gonna continue that process until I am satisfied with the coverage of the glitter. I'm also going to hit the turner so that the extra glitter falls off onto the parchment paper and it's not just rolling around on the tumbler.
here you will see me continuing to just make sure I cover this tumbler completely and that I am happy with the finished product. Um, unfortunately, my epoxy video was cut out um, as well as my sealing video, but after I finished pouring the glitter to my satisfaction, I went ahead and sprayed this tumbler with a clear sealant, just a two times Rust-Oleum clear um, sealant and sprayed that on there. Let that dry for about an hour to two hours and then went ahead and epoxied it. So in this next shot that you will see, this tumbler will already be epoxied and cured overnight. So that is the finished epoxied glittered tumbler. Now I am getting ready to achieve this crackle effect. One of the things that I will need is this acrylic paint. I got this acrylic paint from Michaels. It's just a normal white acrylic paint. And I went ahead and already poured that into the plastic cup that you see there with the paintbrush I also got from Michaels. So the other thing that you are going to need for this crackle effect is Elmer's glue. Just your normal Elmer's glue. I got that also from Michaels, but you can get it from any store. And I went ahead and poured that into the plastic cup as well. A separate plastic cup than the one that has the acrylic paint. So you are just going to grab the tumbler and the paintbrush and dip it into the Elmer's glue. And I just made sure that it was clean and I didn't have any excess dripping. I mean, I just went up and down this tumbler. Just one long stroke complete coverage from the top to the bottom of this tumbler. I tried not to do too many strokes over the other and just tried to do as much of just one simple line of um, Elmer's glue. And I also wanted to make sure that it wasn't too thick and that way it was just spread out and kind of gave you that clear effect that you'll see. at this point I am just going over the streaks that I've created on this tumbler I want to make sure that it appears clear and I don't want that thick white look that you're seeing so I'm going over it just to make sure I can thin out those spots and this is what the tumbler looked like after I finished this step I completely covered the tumbler including the bottom and made sure that all of the brush strokes were evenly from the top to the bottom I allowed the tumbler to dry for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I went ahead with the next step. So you just take another paintbrush and just take the acrylic paint and go from the top of the tumbler to the bottom. You want to make sure you're doing it in one long stroke. If you separate that by any way, then it will mess up the crackle. So you need to go from the top of the tumbler to the bottom in one stroke. Um, you will see that I kind of missed a few spaces, so I just went back over it again, but I did it again in one long stroke um, and moved over it just slightly so that it wasn't covering the same spot as much. Now that I have covered the top and the bottom of this tumbler, I'm going to take my blowtorch or heat gun and go ahead and go up and down the length of this tumbler. Now I'm just going to put it in a fast motion across and you're going to see here as it's going to start to crackle. So I would recommend not doing what I'm about to do. Once you have finished the painting stage and you have moved on to crackling, do not touch it again with the brush. It is just going to give it this effect that you are not going to like. So just leave it alone and just let it be what it will be. 
so as you can see it is begun to crackle you can see all the crackling that's taking place throughout this tumbler and as you take the heat gun and continue to go up and down the tumbler it will continue to crack um, one thing I did notice is that the thicker your uh, brush strokes with the acrylic paint the um, longer the cracks will be so if you do thinner strokes um, and smaller strokes then you will have smaller cracks I did decide to keep the heat gun in focus area at this point just to kind of crackle more places than the other um, but it's really just experimentation with this because honestly it can turn out different ways each time but it is very relaxing and satisfying to watch So this is how the crackle turned out at the end. That is the spot that I messed up with the brush, um, but the rest of it turned out really nicely. As you can see, it is long crackles. Again, if you want shorter crackles and smaller crackles, then you do smaller brush strokes. Um, but this is what it looked like at the end, and I am absolutely in love with how this tumbler turned out. So I'm going to let this tumbler dry overnight just because I want to make sure that it is perfectly dry before I prepare to epoxy it. So I am all about the glitz and the glam so I decided to add this diamond dust spray onto the tumbler before I did my coat of epoxy and this is what it looks like it is absolutely gorgeous it has this beautiful shimmer to it I absolutely love it so now I've prepared to do the next coat of epoxy on this tumbler I went ahead and put this on my two tumbler turner um, just for those who don't know I use art resin as my epoxy of choice I will put their link in the description below but I absolutely love them I think it has less bubbles than any other epoxy that I've ever used and it's easy to work with and the finished product is amazing so again my choice of epoxy is art resin um so I am now just pouring out the epoxy equal parts to prepare to epoxy this tumbler so after I combine my equal parts into a plastic cup I will go ahead and hit it with the heat gun just so that I get out any bubbles that may be left um, although it is minimal with art resin I just like to make sure it's perfect so I go ahead and combine that my apologies on blocking the view with the cup um, but I am just epoxying this tumbler here and just spreading the epoxy from the top to the bottom and also on the bottom of the tumbler. finish coating the entire tumbler I then hit it with the heat gun up and down just to pop any air bubbles that may surface I do let it turn for about four to five minutes before I hit it with the heat gun so that the bubbles have the time to rise this tumbler to turn overnight um, that is typically what I'm most comfortable with but you can let it turn for about eight hours this is the tumbler after it has been epoxied I would like to point out that I do not remove the tape 
from my tumbler until the very end after the final coat of epoxy I have a whole process that I'll do and I uh, will do a video on that eventually uh, but here's the image that will be on to the tumbler this is a water slide image that I printed out and you will need just a um, bowl of warm water to complete this and obviously the tumbler I take some water and I put it on the tumbler to get it wet that way I can move around the water slide image once it is on there then I go ahead and put the water slide image into the water and hold down the sides otherwise it will curl up so I just sit and hold it for about 10 seconds just to allow it to fully submerge. So once the image is ready, I go ahead and slide it off of the backing, grab my tumbler and place it exactly where I want it. And then when I make sure I smooth it down and move it to the precise space and then smooth it so that it is flat and there isn't any rises in it. I then grab a washcloth or you can do a paper towel and I just remove any excess moisture from the image that way an air bubble cannot be created and it also just helps to flatten it out when I go ahead and take a dry cloth and wipe it over the water slide. This is how it looks after the water slide image has been fully applied and flattened and dried with a washcloth or a paper towel. And then we're just going to do our last coat of epoxy and this tumbler is completely finished. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure you comment down below how this worked out for you and I would love to see your crackle tumblers as well. Like and subscribe and don't forget ring that bell just to make sure you are notified when I post future videos.